Hey folks, this is Russ Jones here at Ferrante Incorporated. Wanted to take a little bit of time here to show you exactly how you can write highly optimized uh, content inside of WordPress using just two plugins. The first plugin is called Writer's Block. You can download it from the uh, plugins directory installed straight through WordPress uh, like you would any other plugin. Uh, you type in a keyword and it suggests back to you content that you might want to write. Now there is a free and a paid version. The free version gives you like three or four recommendations. The paid is based on the GrepWords API. So if you uh, pay, I think it's 15 bucks a month for the basic level, uh, you'll get a lot more recommendations. And I'll, I'll show you that later. The second is called End Topic. It's Verante's exclusive measure of content relevancy. It is proven to increase organic traffic. It is a fantastic way to make sure the content that you're writing is highly relevant. Um, it's based on an API as well, which you do have to pay for. I think it's 10 bucks a month for 100 uses. Uh, but both of them are really powerful, and I think you're going to see just how. Uh, so let's get started. Um, one of the things you'll notice is I'm not going to copy and paste anything here. We're going to actually write an article from scratch and make it highly optimized just using these two tools. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, um, just to make this clear, is I want to show you uh, what it looks like if you don't have an API set up. Just so you can see that it is possible to use the content suggestion engine uh, pretty easily without even having um, an API. So let's say that you wanted to write an article about gardening. Um, so I've scrolled to the bottom of the page of the, the standard add new post and you'll see GrepWords content suggestion engine here. Um, I will type in uh, garden and you'll see some content ideas suggested. Fantastic. Uh, how to build a raised garden. I'll show you that 2,900 people a month search for that. Uh, but let's update to the GrepWords API because quickly you're going to run out um, of opportunities if you're just doing it that way. And let's go back and add a new post again just so I can show you what it would be for gardening. Uh, we've got a whole bunch, um, hundreds, all the way down to... Uh, see how to build a raised bed garden, how to keep squirrels out of your garden, how to plant a vegetable garden, um, who owns Olive Garden, you know, just tons of potential things that you could write about and how often they're searched. But obviously this is a search engine optimization blog, so we're going to write about search engine optimization. Suggestion content ideas. We're going to put this into my frequently asked questions section, so let's just go straight with what is search engine optimization. I clicked on it, and so it is automatically the title of my post. Let's capitalize it, turn it into a question, and add it to end topic. Over here is where the end topic widget is. And you'll just type in the keyword for which you want your content to be relevant. Now, one quick caveat here. End topic needs at least 25 words of content so that it can start the analysis. So we're just going to free flow here. I'm going to just start writing and uh, after I write a little bit I'll click find score and we'll move from there so here we go search engines are the primary entry point with which most of us reach the web whenever we want something on the internet we go straight to Google Bing yeah, some people go to Bing, Yahoo, or one of many other search engines to find what we are looking for. Search engine optimization is a series of marketing and technical techniques, blah, 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 blah. Now, this is how you would normally write your content. Uh, you would spend some time maybe uh, outlining it, but essentially you're just writing what you think is optimal. But end topic is going to help us solve that. So let's hit find score. It takes a little bit uh, to run because it's actually running this against our massive model of the English language to find all of the related words. You'll see we're already a little bit relevant at 87.87%, but I'll go ahead and tell you anything less than uh, you know maybe 95, 96 really isn't good. And ultimately what you want to get is to 99% relevancy. Now you'll notice here that 
some of these things are highlighted in red and some are highlighted in blue. Blue means that you've already used that keyword and red means you haven't. So let's just keep writing and try and follow some of these words and suggestions that they're making here. And you'll see as I use them, they'll actually uh, change colors. So um, technical techniques employed by webmasters for SEO. Um, you notice SEO just disappeared. Uh, search engine optimization professionals to improve their rankings and thereby increase their traffic from search engines. Notice I'm not just blindly following what's in here, but I'm actually starting to hit a lot of these words that you're seeing recommended down here as well. Uh, so let's keep going. Uh, there are myriad factors that go into seeing an increase in rankings uh, for any business. Some of these include You notice business just got hit, so increasing page rank. Increase the number of links, backlinks to your website from other websites to improve rankings. A link is essentially a vote. Now notice uh, the, the link just highlighted. Let's say an HTML link is essentially the there we go. And let's change this to results because we've already used rankings and now we need results. Uh, and now let's scroll down. Let's see some other words. We see guide and social and keyword, um, all kinds of different stuff uh, that we might want to include. So let's just uh, keep going. In improving design and aesthetic, usable design may increase rankings uh, for pages. There we go, we got the pages word. Um, and also help users. The people and customers you serve spend more time on your site. Now you noticed earlier there were both users and uh, people, I believe, on this list, users and people. So clearly, uh, we're starting to hit on some more words. Um, uh, improving social signals. For some reason, Google thinks that social signals matters, at least in terms of relevancy. So uh, getting Facebook likes or a share or mention on Twitter. Improving on site HTML, updating meta tags, uh, using better keywords, properly mark up media and write in better articles can all help. Now you'll notice at this point we're really starting to hit the majority of the words. There's only a couple left that we haven't hit. So we're going to try and get these into here as well. Um, you see land and guide. Um, I guess is land is coming from search marketing land, which is really popular. Obviously SMX is there because people are talking about it. Um, so let's try and get that kind of information in here. Uh, ultimately, search engine optimization seeks to ensure that one site's content is retrieved and displayed by the search engines over another. If you are interested in getting a guide or improving your search rankings results, there, there are plenty of options. And now here's our chance to get in some of those other words. Uh, first, you can attend conferences of professionals such as SMS. PubCon, SES, just search engine strategies, MozCon, LinkLove, and SearchLove, and others across the globe. 
second, you can hire search engine professionals who can assist with improving ranking for pages across your site. Although beware of those who claim to be able to guarantee rankings, which is unlikely. Um, if you noticed, paid and black and hat and white all show up in this list, so we should probably talk about that kind of stuff. Um, be aware of the risks of hiring a white hat versus a black hat SEO who may be optimizing your site with paid links or other techniques of which Google does not approve. Uh, finally, read and experiment yourself. Let's see if we can get search engine land in here. Uh, you can visit sites like Search Engine Land, Search Engine Journal, and Search Engine Watch to learn more. Whether you are looking at keyword usage, link building, on-site or off-site factors, you can make a difference in your search ranking. All right, so if I'm looking at these good words, I've got pretty much every single one of them, except for some silly ones, uh, June, September, chapter, and columns. So we can also uh, hit find score and just see how much better we're doing now. Come on, 99. Hell yeah, 99.79. We've got a really high relevancy rank for this. Uh, there are some probably bad words. Professionals doesn't tend to occur very often within the content, but that's okay because our score is so good. Uh, we just double check, make sure it's frequently asked questions, and hit publish. There we go. Success. We've now added this highly optimized content. What is search engine optimization? I believe the entire process of actually writing the article took less than 10 minutes. Obviously, I expect it will probably take longer for other people, but if you're trying to make the decision between hiring somebody else to write this content and you know hoping that they write it relevantly or using these kinds of plugins, I think you'll find out that you can do really well. So uh, that's it. You know, it's pretty easy to write highly relevant content, so go to it.